Ayan, makagang pag mga katabs. My name is Boss J, Jerome Tano. And we're back at LJTV. Lahat libre. LJTV is also your freedom channel. I'm here to uh, discuss to you where this tutorial is about blocking a porn site on any network inside the local area. So ito yung pagpablock guys ng kahit anong phishing site and porn sites using OpenDNS and this works to entire to all the entire device that you guys are using inside the house by just configuring your modem sa mga bago pa lang po sa channel ko please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell na rin para updated kayo sa mga useful videos natin thank you very much so sa mga hindi pa nakanood ng part 1 nito guys no yung pag speed up ng internet ng internet natin mag ako ng link sa baba ng description ng video. So you can go back and review the part 1 wherein you will sign up to open DNS. That's actually important for you to configure the um, web content filtering. So, umpisa na natin. I already have an account guys. I'm just gonna log in first. Blocking all web... Um, unwanted contents guys it's very easy using open dns ayan so kung nakikita nyo naka login na ako guys no? um, yung home page nyan sa taas ito yung unang makikita nyo usually dun sa screen and as you can see sa settings ko meron akong dalawang networks na pag pinindot ko yan yung sinet up kong um, public ip which is lumalabas din po yan sa taas sorry um, let me show you yung IP address ko or public IP ko sa taas 175.176.37.35 yan po ay makikita nyo rin sa settings or dito nga sa kabila yan pansinin nyo tong your networks 175.176.37.135 as you know guys yung mga gumagamit ng prepaid modem um or yung mga naka-plan dyan na naka-postpaid um, majority of us naka-dynamic IP so nagpapalit-palit tayo ng IP um, itong field na to guys is important for you to update um, in open DNS kapag nagpalit yung IP makikita nyo may bagong line dyan sa baba ng IP address na yan tapos gray, ibig sabihin yun yung bagong IP pero hindi siya selected so may lalabas dyan na parang bilog na arrow na may refresh so pag pinindot nyo yung green arrow na yun mawawala tong current IP ad natin and then mapupunta sa taas yung bagong IP address so i-click nyo lang yung green arrow na yun guys just in case lang magpalit yung IP address nyo and then you're done so assuming na napalitan na natin isa na lang ang lalabas dyan kung nakita nyo na yung green i-click nyo lang yung IP address na yun guys para pumasok sa loob and then configure your settings ganun lang po yan kadali kung meron na kayong open DNS account kung makikita ninyo sa akin guys naka low yung settings ko for the content filtering kasi po ang binlock ko lang dyan is yung mga porn sites and then after selecting that guys no, nasa sa inyo yan pwede nyo rin modify or custom kung anong klaseng mga site ang gusto nyo lang i-block na hindi makita ng family members nyo in my case, doon ko na lang nilagay sa low and then pindutin nyo lang yung box na yan apply to all networks so kahit yung ibang nakakonect dahil nga yung modem natin is configured via OpenDNS is madedetect nya so kahit naka laptop pa yan, tablet or other phone and then you just hit the apply button makikita nyo magigreen yan setting save, allow 3 minutes now, ganun lang po yan kadali, and if you will refresh, makikita nyo block po lahat ng content so sa baba guys, discuss ko lang din pwede kayo mag adjan ng website, na naka always block, or never block pipili lang kayo dyan, and then ilalagay nyo lang kung anong website ang gusto nyo i-block or i-whitelist lalabas naman po yan sa baba, kung anong mga website yung pinili nyong um, hindi mo block or blank, uh, block permanently now hindi lang yan yung feature guys no? um, you can also go to 
advanced settings or customization. Dito ko po nilagay yung picture ng baby ko or picture ko. Depende po yan sa gusto nyo. Upload nyo lang. It must not exceed um, I think 1 MB. Yan as shown here. Uh, yan yung custom uh, na picture nyo guys na makikita nila kung maglaland na yung um, block na message. No? In my case, ito yung picture ng baby ko. Again, huwag nyo kakalimutan guys yung apply no? after nyo ilagay yung image. And then, dun sa block page, nakita nyo, dito ko nilagay yung personalized message. So, yan yung lalabas kapag in-access nila yung binlock nating site. Actually, yan lang naman guys. Sobrang dali. Kailangan nyo lang bisibisitahin yung inyong dashboard para makita kung nagpalit na ba yung IP address nyo. And then, you just go to settings para makita rin kung may grade out na rito ang IP address, ibig sabihin yun yung bago. Spindutin nyo lang yung grid na refresh. Mawawala yung current. Isa na lang ang magkakaroon dyan sa taas. Yun yung bagong IP address. And then, click nyo lang yung IP address again. And then, save nyo lang. So, refresh nyo lang by putting a dot there and then apply. Now, let's do the testing. no Let's test any website na may kinalaman sa porn. So, no, normally, nag sa search na ako ng XXX dyan and then let's see ayan guys, kumagat so kahit pilitin ng user na i-access dyan, lalabas po yan si OpenDNS with the block personalized message and the photo that you've selected napakagaling po ni OpenDNS mag filter guys ng mga porn site, alam na alam po niya yan So, they just really can't access this. Kahit i-block nyo man si Facebook or si YouTube on your own, then, you know, punta nyo lang dun sa block list. Or kung may i-whitelist kayo yung porn site na hindi alam ng family members nyo, that's definitely or totally fine. And you see, gumagana yan guys. Kahit nakakonect lang tayo sa Wi-Fi, connected lang tayo sa Wi-Fi, kasi nga nasa modem yung DNS server settings natin na hindi alam ng members ng family natin na nakakonfigure so that's pretty much about the tutorial guys and uh, really I want to thank everyone for subscribing to my channel we are now growing um, road to 1k subscriber na tayo and I'm so happy about your support and uh, thank you so very much guys for supporting my channel and uh, yeah thank you and I'll see you in the next video sa so, next video naman natin guys Um, ang gagawin natin, ang wifi ni Gabit Bahay, i-share natin sa lahat. Isang nakakonek lang na device, and we're gonna share it to everybody um, using an application called NetShare. The legit way yun guys ha, meron pang not legit way, bypassing the Microtic and PFSense um, uh, captive portal, or yung mga uh, DNS filtering din nila. No? So, Um, but yeah, thank you so very much for watching and uh, I'll see you guys in my next video.